In 2022, when I was going through the camera trap footage, I saw something very surprising, a capuchin monkey carrying a howler infant on its back. Of course, I was very surprised by this finding. It was really unusual behavior to see, but I was instantly curious if it was just a one-off or part of something bigger. Eventually, after analyzing thousands and tens of thousands of videos and images, 11 howler monkey infants were abducted by five different all subadult or juvenile male carriers. So the behavior had spread. It was no longer a single individual doing something quirky. It was now a social tradition, part of their culture. And this, of course, raised many more questions, but it also brought us some answers to have these additional sightings. So we could, for instance, see that it was not a case of adoption where these babies were found by the capuchins, but rather abduction, because the infants tried to escape, they called to their parents who called back, and we also saw the capuchins preventing them from escaping. But why? While capuchins will interact with other species and do strange things, and often have other cultural traditions that are thought to be adaptive, like how to eat or how to forage, or thought to have some kind of use or utility, this seemed really puzzling because it has no clear function. They aren't eating the howler monkeys, they aren't removing other competitors. It just seems to be something that they do kind of out of boredom. This is a bizarre and very fascinating example of a behavior that is seemingly arbitrary and then even harmful to another species. However, for us, one of the biggest questions of interest was not necessarily why, but why here? A key thing about this is that on islands, there's a lot of free time. There's potentially a lot of ecological need to figure out how to make a living as a castaway. And there's also a lot of boredom. So generally, these conditions that we see on islands might be important for a broad range of innovations, whether seemingly functional or not, to emerge. In humans, boredom has quite clearly been linked to creativity. When we feel most bored, that is when we are most creative and innovative. And I think that we often make the comparison between animals and humans in positive ways. But in many ways, we are a great example of an animal that has traditions that harm other animals. And I think it is really interesting to see that this is not limited to humans, but also other intelligent animals. 